Hello everybody, it's Robert Cosmar of the Astrology of Life YouTube channel, the Knowing Whispers YouTube channel, and the Astrology Network on YouTube. I'm going to make you think today. I'm going to hopefully present something to you that will make you roll it over in your brain, hopefully reference it to your heart and see whether or not you feel the same way that I do about this. This particular video in the Knowing Whispers channel is going to be about whether or not in the Bible that reincarnation is implied and also asking the question, do we really have free will? Okay, now you'll want to pay attention to this particular scripture verse because this is what I'm referencing here. And you may have to think about it a little bit, but I think that you will see uh, whether intended or not, that the writers, King James Version is the one that I reference here, uh, were implying in this particular situation uh, a question as to whether or not we actually do have free will. Okay, and I'll talk a little bit more about that as we go into this. I'm going to read this particular scripture, John 18, 37. And again, this is not an appeal to you to become devout followers of Christ or the Bible. It's just simply using the Bible to show things that are often either misquoted, misreferenced, misunderstood, uh, or that are warped. Okay? All right. Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Jesus answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born. And for this cause I came into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Every one that is of the truth heareth my voice. Now, I want you to think for a minute about the particular phrase, to this end I was born. And ask yourself the question, did Jesus believe that he and we in a lifetime have free will or are we born for a particular purpose that we cannot avoid okay and of course there's a complexity of purposes here obviously in his particular life and in our everyday life um, you know from the time we're cognizantly old enough to begin to question what we're told to believe we're on a, a journey to try to find out the purpose and meaning of our life Okay, but there's this big ambiguity between do I have free will or is my life fated? Is it predestined? Okay, and I've mentioned many times over in the other channel that I feel like that with our ego, we have a lot of free will. We can choose to be whomever we want to be. We can play whatever role we want to play, but that ultimately in life, we collide into what you would consider to be a fate or a predestined set of circumstances that are trying to maybe drive us in a completely different way than we ever thought possible. Okay? And again, I want you to think about this. All right? To this end, I was born. Now, I can see implications of reincarnation in that particular topic or in that particular phrase. But I think more obviously here, it has to do with, are our lives fated? Are they predestined? Do we have a particular purpose and reason for being here that's known even to us prior to coming into this life? Okay. Uh, and are a lot of these attempts to try to, uh, in our lifetime, play all kinds of roles and stuff just... Uh, ways eventually of getting us to surrender to the truth and the reality, okay, of this purpose that we all have, each of us, okay? I think that's something to think about, and I don't know why it is, but over the last couple of months, this has been kind of gnawing at me. Most of you know that I was a Pentecostal evangelist back in my early, well, early 30s, late 20s, so I'm pretty well versed in the Bible read it many times way back when I preached it, you name it, the whole nine yards, uh, way before I became consciously awake. 
But I wanted to bring this out for people that maybe who are subscribers that are or are not Christians and wonder whether or not reincarnation, fate, free will, um, and destiny are in the Bible. They are implied in the Bible. Even reincarnation is implied in the Bible. But it's not interpreted that way. Okay? It's not interpreted that way. It's almost a similar situation as the fact that if you get two or three astrologers in a room and give them something to read, they're going to all give you a different view. It'll basically say the same thing, but they'll have a different take on it. Well, the same thing has happened over 2,000 years with the Bible. You have how many hundreds of churches out there that say, this is what it means, this is what it means, this is what it means. And from a Christian spiritual standpoint, that is why we have such a problem with religion. Okay? Because these beliefs are not the truth, okay? The truth is a direct experience. Even the early Christians knew that it was a direct experience, okay? They didn't have to believe in Jesus, really. They saw him, okay? Or they interacted with him. And there was an exchange of energy that gave them experiences which, up until that time, uh, were reserved for the ancient prophets of the Old Testament. Okay, and I think that I think that in some way, shape, or form, discussing this is important. It's important to broaden our understanding of how the Bible has played a part in both the misinformation about our relationship with the universe um, and caused a great deal of pain and a great deal of harm. Uh, as well as obviously in the Bible, there are keys, if you look close enough with an open mind, that could imply, okay, that um, what essentially a lot of churches deny, obviously the biblical writers knew and they experienced it, okay? I hope you enjoy the video. I hope it makes you think. I hope that it maybe in some way, shape, or form makes you feel more aware, more conscious of uh, your life. That's the purpose over here in the Knowing Whispers YouTube channel. And uh, if you'd like to, you know, share it on the internet. We now have the community section. You can comment on this. Tell me what you think, what you feel, what your experiences are. Uh, it's good because it makes us reflect inwardly upon this relationship that we have with the universe and that, more importantly now in the world, needs to grow. It needs to develop. Okay? Thank you for watching. From the love of my life, CJ, my spiritual partner, and Toby, our fur angel, we thank you, and uh, we appreciate every one of you. Thank you again.